Good morning, greetings friends, and welcome to The Bright Side, your nutritional program dedicated to the understanding of the vast world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. I'm your host, Pharmacist Ben, nutritional pharmacist from Boulder, Colorado. I use nutritional supplements where other healthcare practitioners use toxic pharmaceutical drugs and sometimes deadly medical procedures. If you suspect that there are natural nutritional roads to your health and vitality and well-being and to addressing your health challenges, whatever they may be, but you don't know where to begin, you have come to the right place. As you listen to The Bright Side every day, you are more and more in control of your body, you are more and more knowledgeable, and you know you can overcome any health challenge. That is why we are here every day on The Bright Side, helping clear up the sometimes confusing world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. Over the last 31 years of practicing pharmacy, I have seen drug-free recoveries from diabetes, hypertension, obesity, skin diseases like acne, psoriasis, eczema, rosacea, digestive ailments, autoimmune issues of all kinds, recoveries that by the standards of modern medicine can only be called a miracle. But what is in the world of the body, what is in the world of biology, standard operating procedure. Because the human biological system is a healing system, it's a regenerating system, it is designed divinely to heal and renew itself on a moment-to-moment -moment basis. And while some folks may call that healing, renewing, regenerating system a miracle, it really is just the way the body works. If you have questions about health, nutrition, prescription drugs, if you want to wean yourself off your meds and get on a good nutritional supplement program, we are here for you. 844-236-6010 is our number on the bright side. 844-236-6010 if you have questions about the longevity products, longevity business, formulations, ingredients. If you have a success story you'd like to share, or if you just want to contribute to the conversation, 844-236-6010 is our number on the bright side. If you want to purchase longevity products, head to brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, or criticalhealthnews.com. You can also sign up to join the Brightside Ben team off the websites, brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, and criticalhealthnews.com. For a one-time $25 fee, you can help change lives, start yourself a business. If, if you're an entrepreneur or like the entrepreneur lifestyle, this is business in a box. You can be in business in a week, and you're not just in business, not just making money, not just working out of your home, not just writing off your home office and enjoying all the tax benefits associated with having your own business, but helping change lives at the most fundamental physical level that is with health and nutrition, as well as, as, well as lifestyle. Longevity is a lifestyle. It's not just nutrition and nutritional supplementation. As you guys who are in the business are well aware, longevity is about a lifestyle. It's about a lifestyle of health and a lifestyle of wellness that transcends nutrition as, as important, obviously, as the nutrition and nutritional supplementation is. It's about being better. Being better in your body, being better as a person, being better in, as a human being, being better as, as a breadwinner and as a, as a business person. It's just about being better. That's why I love longevity. All right. 844-236-6010 is our number. We are talking about pineal gland hormones. and Well, we started talking about pineal gland hormones, melatonin and serotonin. We've been talking about cortisol, very misunderstood hormone. I got an interesting call yesterday, if you were listening those of you who are listening, from a gal, and she, was, uh, she wanted to know about being on prednisone. She heard it was bad, and, and it just reminded me how little we really understand about this stuff, this cortisol, this stress hormone. So she said, I heard it was really bad stuff. The body doesn't make bad stuff. The body is a very, the chemicals in the body are very functional. There might be some toxic metabolites, breakdown products, but the stuff that's functional and that's working, it's all important. Cortisol is important stuff. Yes, it has a, a chronic exposure to cortisol can throw things off because it's, it's an amp you up hormone. It's for emergencies, for stresses. It's one of the ways the body handles stress. It's not a stress hormone. It's a stress handling hormone. It's so important to understand. There's a big difference, as subtle as it may be, in, in meaning it's huge, between stress hormone and stress management hormone. When you say stress hormone, that makes it sound like uh, stress equals cortisol, and all, all the bad things about stress equals the bad e equals cortisol, and that's not really true. As cortisol is important for stress management. It's the chronic cortisol that's the problem, and this underlies this. This puts a spotlight on the just utter stupidity of someone being stuck on a steroid hormone like prednisone for a long time. As bad as you know, we're talking, sitting here talking about chronic exposure to cortisol, 
chronic exposure to cortisol, which is behind lots of problems. And then we're talking about giving somebody cortisol as a drug that they take every day. How? It's just crazy. It is utter, utter craziness. Now, I understand if you have some dramatic inflammation and dramatic pain and you need some instant relief. I, I'm not Pollyannish about this. I understand that you need them, but to be on a steroid drug long term is crazy because you're exposing yourself. You're basically telling your body that it's always under duress. Imagine, imagine this body is a se- as if it were separate from us. I do a thought experiment. Imagine your body separate from us. So you take this body, this machine, or animal, if you will, or robot, flesh robot, and you just tell it all the time that it's under stress from a biochemical perspective. You say stress, 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 stress. And what does stress mean? It means changes in blood pressure. It means suppression of the immune system. We'll talk about that here in a little bit. Suppression, uh, suppression of, or a change in how uh, uh, blood flows, a clogging of the blood, a clotting of the blood, a suppression or a, clo- uh, a uh, relaxation of the lower digest of the digestive system. A relaxation of the, uh, not necessarily relaxation, but a suppression of the digestive system. Digestive system becomes deactivated in, uh, in response to cortisol. And you're going to give somebody a drug that does all of these things, basically redirects the body's energy into, into survival. It is just utter craziness. Utter, utter crazy. And this is why prednisone is notorious as being, if not the most toxic of all the drugs, it's in the argument for the top, maybe three of them. Not, uh, not just cortisol, but these steroid drugs. They're incredibly toxic. And no one's supposed to be on them for more than like a week or two weeks maybe. And when you wean yourself off, you wean yourself off very carefully because you are playing with fire when you're on a steroid drug. Do they, do they, do they I, I talk, you know, I'm not gonna tell the story again, but yes, it's dramatic how the symptoms can be relieved. As I said, as we've said several times already, cortisol and steroid hormones are feel-good hormones. They cut off, they, they suppress inflammation, so you don't feel pain. But they also will redirect blood flow away from your external, from your skin, from the external part of your body towards the inner part of your body, changing the pressure. It, it creates a change in the pressure of the blood, a redirection. It raises the pressure of the blood. It makes the heart beat faster. It suppresses digestive health. It suppresses immunity. All of these things are going to happen when you're at, it, oh, here, it's another one. It makes you gain weight. It's a big-time weight gain hormone. That's why people gain big-time weight when they're on prednisone. To me, the, the suppression of the immune system, though, that's the biggie. The immune system is your defense system. To use suppression of the defense system The immune system as a medical strategy is crazy. To use suppression of the immune system as a way of dealing with health is utter, utter craziness, in my opinion. Cortisol is an anti-immune hormone. It's an immune suppressant hormone. When you're in an emergency or stressful condition, the the immune system is not as important as the muscles. The immune system is not as important as uh, getting oxygen into the system or getting, making sure the blood is flowing to the right part of the body. That's all the body cares about in a survival state. It doesn't care about the immune system. The immune system is gratuitous. It represents a drain of resources. That's the, really what we're talking about here is a drain of resources. Resources are all going towards getting us out of a pickle, not, not building the immune system. So when you're taking cortisol, prednisone, or if you're under high, uh, your biochemistry is being exposed, uric being exposed to high levels of cortisol, guess what? Immune suppression. That means sickness. That means cancer. That means immune diseases. That means poor health for a lot of reasons, but just suppressing the immune system. Just the, the suppression of the immune system will ultimately make us sick. Cold sores are a classic example of what can happen under conditions of long-term, uh, long-term exposure to cortisol. All right, 844-236-6010 is our number. You're listening to The Bright Side. We'll be back right after this. All right, 
we're back on the bright side. I am Pharmacist Ben. Thanks for joining us. We're on the air Monday through Friday, 8 to 9 Pacific and 10 to 11 Central Time, 24-7 on the archive pages at brightsideben.com or uh, brightsideben.com and benfuchsarchives.com, also benfuchsarchive.com. Thank you to Peter in the UK for setting those up. Criticalhealthnews.com, pharmacistben.com, and brightsideben.com all have longevity products. You can purchase all your favorite longevity products off the website. Also sign up to join the Brightside Ben team off the website for a one-time $25 fee. You can also call 866-735-2470. And also want to remind you to check out our truth treatment products at truthtreatments.com, truthtreatments.com, retinol 5% gel, truth omega-6 healing cream, truth transdermal sea balm, and the award-winning Harper's Bazaar Top 150 Products in the World, Truth Transdermal C Serum at truthtreatments.com. Okay, so we're talking about cortisol and uh, the immune suppression of cortisol. It's an immune suppressant hormone. It, that's why doctors love it, because it's an anti-inflammatory. suppresses inflammation if you're dealing with severe pain from a f shoulder pain or hip pain or joint pain of some kind, you may want a shot of cortisone. I can see why. If you're dealing with cortisol deficiency issues, you may need a little bit of cortisol. But in the long term, you're playing with fire, absolutely playing with fire. Cortisol has a especially uh, important role to play, by the way, on the skin for a lot of reasons. Cortisol, uh, for one thing, Dermatologists absolutely love cortisol. It's the dermatologist's main tool, along with antibiotics. Antibiotics and uh, uh, steroids are the dermatologist's main pharmacological tools. There's also, you know, laser and and uh, they can do they freeze off warts and such. They do surgical procedures, of course, but. From a pharmacological perspective, you're basically talking antibiotics and steroids, and it's been the same since 1950. It hasn't changed. That's why I say dermatology is just, it's the lamest of all the medical sciences. I'm not a big, you know, medical science has its place, of course, but in dermatology, it is just, I don't even know if you can call it a science. Steroids and antibiotics, both of which have a toxicity profile that's as long as my arm. That's the dermatologist's main tool, None of which, neither of which address the problem, which is par for the course with modern medicine. Also, cortisol will thin the skin. Cortisol will make you look older faster. And the skin makes cortisol. It makes its own cortisol when, when, it's, when it is under stress. Skin cells do. So cortisol... Will turn on the uh, will turn off inflammation. So if you're being chronically attacked, it's going to turn off the immune system in the skin. Your own natural cortisol will do that, which of course will make you more susceptible to other infections. And it will thin your skin. It will degrade collagen. It will degrade connective tissue. It does the same thing in the bones. It does it for all connective tissue. In fact, the shriveling up that is the classic sign. The uh, manifestation of the aging process, the shriveling up, that's what happens. We shrivel. That could largely be the result of cortisol. If you could figure out how to manage your cortisol correctly, you would age much, we would all age much more slowly and much more gracefully. So cortisol is not just your health hormone, it's your beauty hormone. It doesn't just have health aspects, it has beauty aspects. Oily skin can be a sign of excessive cortisol secretion. I can't tell you how many times I talk to people who are way past the age of having acne. They're in their 30s or 40s or even 50s and their skin is really oily. Oily skin is a classic sign of uh, excessive secretion of cortisol. Work on your cortisol. It's, a, it's, it's actually a good thing because it's telling you that your cortisol's off. Work on your adrenal glands. If you have oily skin, work on your adrenal glands and guess what else? If you have sensitive skin, you very likely have a cortisol issue. Cortisol will sensitize the skin. Thinning skin, and now you say, well, wait a minute, cortisol slows down the immune system. How does it sensitize the skin? It sensitizes the skin by causing things to break down. It's a pro-breakdown hormone. It's a cat cat catabolic hormone. So yeah, it has some anti-inflammatory properties, but at the same time, it's going to make your skin more sensitive. And this largely explains the link between sensitive skin and skin problems in general and cortisol because cortisol also whacks out your digestive system and your digestive system, when it's messed up, is going to spike your cortisol. 
If you have a digestive problem that's been going on for a while, guaranteed you're de dealing with cortisol issues. That's our triangle of disease again. The triangle of disease goes all in all different directions in this triangle. So the digestive system doesn't just affect the blood sugar system, it affects the, the adrenal system and vice versa. The three points of the triangle of disease are all interactive with each other. Each affects the other. It goes in all the different directions. But it's still the three points of foundation, the three foundation points for all disease. And pretty much everybody over the age of 30 is going to have some kind of cortisol issue. Pretty much. Maybe even younger. But certainly, once you get into your 30s, your cortisol levels are going to be off. If, if you're doing the standard American diet and living the standard American lifestyle, and that's why people will hit the wall around age 28 or 29. I call it hitting the wall. Hitting the wall is that, right, that time period for most of us between the ages of 28 and 29, maybe 30, somewhere in there, 27 to 30, let's say, where all of a sudden we don't feel like going out every night or we just feel little aches and pains that never appeared before or we start to notice a little belly fat. That's called the wall. When you're a kid, you can go out and party every night and go to work the next day and smoke cigarettes and play football and you know, you're in you're in the blossom of your life up until the age of 28. If you're under the age of 28, that's what you have to look forward to. If you you can you, you want to be you want to go into it as gracefully as possible. And if you don't believe me, ask anybody who is past the age of 30 or 31 and they'll tell you about the wall. It is a universal experience. And it is largely the manifestation of cortisol. So you can stave that off if you're younger by doing all of the anti-cortisol strategies that we're talking about, particularly relaxing, lightening up, breathing, also food, also sugar, also nutrition, nutritional supplementation. So many ways uh, that you can stabilize your cortisol. Blood sugar and digestion are the first two things you want to think about. There are actually diseases that affect cortisol levels. And we know a lot about what cortisol does to the body by these diseases. There's a, for example, there is a disease called Addison's disease. Addis, I, uh, John F. Kennedy, President Kennedy, had Addison's disease. And if you look at Kennedy's pictures, um, when he was a, a young senator, he was in his 40s or so. I guess he was born probably 1910, somewhere in there. So when he was, uh, when he was uh, a senator in his 40s and 50s, in the 1950s, 1940s, in there, he was, he was a young guy. I don't remember how old, I don't know how old he was exactly, but he was a young guy. He was real skinny. Then you look at pictures of him when he's uh, later on in his life, in the 60s, 1960s, and he had like this puffy face. Why? He was, they were giving him cortisol. They were giving him prednisone because he had Addison's disease. Addison's disease is a disease uh, of the adrenal glands. It affects, it causes low cortisol levels. So they were, they were spiking him. He was being spiked with cortisol. He was doing all kinds of drugs, as it turns out, but one of the drugs he was doing was cortisol on and gave him a big puffy face. Cortisol is known for giving you a puffy face. All right. I'm Pharmacist Ben, 844-236-6010 is our number. You are listening to The Bright Side on the Genesis Communication Network. We'll take a commercial break and come back with more good health information and your phone calls as well. Don't go away. I am Pharmacist Ben, 844-236-6010 is our number, and we have lines open at 844-236-6010. If you have questions about anything we're speaking about here today, or a health challenge, or a success story you'd like to share, or you just want to contribute to the conversation, 844-236-6010 is our number on the bright side. A couple interesting stories here, then we'll get your calls. This is... Uh, this is from the National Institute of Allergy and Infectious Diseases. Flu infection study increases our understanding of natural immunity. People with higher levels of antibodies against the influenza, uh, against the influenza virus have less, viral, uh, uh, have less viral shedding when they get the flu, which means they have... Uh, uh, but it says, but do not have fewer or less severe signs of illness, according to a study published. What, is, what the heck does this mean here? Well, the point I see, I, I don't know what these guys are trying to say here, but the, the point, I, the take-home message for me is that we have a natural immunity. 
We have a natural immunity to the flu. We have a natural immune system that addresses the flu. When you use a flu vaccine, not only are you introducing all kinds of crapola into your blood, which should not be in your blood, aside from the virus itself, the excipients and the fillers and the oils, all the other things they put, all the other things they put in the vaccine, but you're not helping your immune system any. Your immune system is designed to take care of the flu. When you artificially stimulate the immune system, your immune system doesn't get to do its business, doesn't get to do its work. The immune system is how our body handles these things. We have an immune system for a reason. We evolved with bacteria, with viruses. They, it's a doggy dog world out there, and it has been such since we evolved. We evolved with these things, so we evolved a defense system against these things. The body's immune system is meant to handle the flu, period. Why do people get the flu? Well, uh, your immune system is suppressed. The immune system has to be suppressed for you to get infected because your body has an anti-infection system. How does, it get, how does your immune system get suppressed? Bad living. What do you do? Good living. In with the good, out with the bad. Along those same lines, this is an article from Scientific Reports, onions could hold the key to fighting antibiotic resistance. A type of onion can help fight antibiotic resistance in the case of tuberculosis, which is a really nasty, nasty, nasty microbe that causes TB, that causes tuberculosis. Onions are a true power food. They may be, one. Uh, they're certainly in the argument for most powerful of all vegetables. There's probably some bizarre vegetables out there that I don't know of that are pretty powerful, but onions are crazy powerful medicine. You got three main ty- kinds of onions. You got yellow onions, white onions, red onions. They're all pretty similar. I like the yellow ones. They're a l- little more oniony. The white ones are mild. The, the, the red ones tend to be sweeter. That's what you'll see on salads is the red onions because they have a little sweet taste to them. All onions will release a little sugar, by the way, when you heat them. That's why we love onion- to put on- a heated onions on top of our uh, potatoes or eggs is because the sugar, con- the, the sugar is just so tasty. You release the sugars when you braise a vegetable. But onions are a true power vegetable. Oh, my God. They got something in it probably you guys have heard of called quercetin. Quercetin is one of nature's most powerful uh, anti-inflammatory phytonutrients, plant nutrients, Q-U-E-R-C-E-T-I-N. Onions are a good source of uh, the B vitamin biotin, which is uh, known to help with blood sugar, one of nature's best sources of biotin, actually. Do you know there's vitamin C in your onions? Potassium, lots of potassium, folate. Onions are just awesome, awesome food. And now, as it turns out, they may be able to uh, help you if you're dealing with antibiotic resistance. Onions have wonderful antibacterial properties. You can tell onions are really medicinal by the way they taste. Anything that has that kind of pungent, powerful taste that you can't eat a lot of, that is the medicine. All right, eight four four two three six sixty ten is our number. You're listening to the bright side. Let's go to California and welcome Shirley to the bright side. Good morning, Shirley. Good morning, um, Ben. I have um, chronic AFib, which has caused me to have three isometric strokes. So recently, I had to have a, a blood clot taken out. I'm at the point now where I have to take <clears throat> required to take blood thinner, which my I can't take this. I, I can't. I know. I know. It's terrible. Medical. It's you your body. It's very bad. Your body yes. is crying. I can hear your body crying through the phone right now. I can. Li- I'm not yes. kidding you. I can totally hear. I've it. been healthy so many years, and this has been. Uh, this is quite a step back for me. And um, okay, well, you. That's I good. Can't then, do the, I can't do the. I can't not do the blood thinners because I feel like a zombie. I feel. I, I understand. It feels like poison to me. Yeah. Also, it feels like poison. It is poison. You're being poisoned. I know it's poison. And, okay. my, do- and my my family is livid if I don't take it. And also, well, look, my you know. It's giving make, me nat- natokinase. natokinase. No, you need more than natokinase. You need this is serious business now. Okay, you're in your fifties, fifties or sixties. Sixties. Okay, so you got to get this under control. You got a good forty, fifty years to go if you get it under control. All right. So the first okay. thing you you got to do is got to figure out why is your body freaked out. Your body is freaked out. I can hear it in your voice. I can hear it through the phone. Your body is freaked out. So you got to calm your body. Fib. No, the AFib, AFib is your body. I don't. I don't even want to hear about the the you know the specific symptoms. I want to talk about. Yeah, your body's freaked, so you got to calm down. You got to calm your body down. You got to calm down, and your body's got to calm down. Are you with me? Yes. 
Okay, well, so you're calming down right just as I'm saying it. You're, you, can you see how, how you changed? Just by me saying okay. it. So you got to practice that because your body is like a baby that's been through World War II. You know, if, I don't know if you've ever seen those war yeah. movies. That's your body right now. It's like a baby that's been through World War II. So you've got to calm the baby down. You've had kids, right? Yes. You know what it's like to be a mother, right? So you know how you yeah, know you you tap into that nurturing thing when you see your baby and you do anything for your baby, you love your baby. Well, guess what? Now you have to mother your, your body like it's a baby. Are you with me? Yes. Everything you put in your body needs to be regarded as, as uh, needs to be considered whether it's friend or foe. Everything, including the drugs. If it's not, if it's not friend, you have to n avoid it. And there's many things that you're doing to your body physically in terms of what you're putting into your body that you've been doing all your life probably that are foe. And it's triggered the stress response. Now, at this point, it's tumbled deeply. You're way down the rabbit's hole at this point. But we got to start somewhere. So you mm -hmm. want to start with food. You got to start by taking, getting the food. Actually, you know what? Even before the food, you got to start with breathing. You got to start practicing SDR breathing. When you get off the phone, you know, a slow, deep, rhythmic breathing. Have you heard me talk about that? Yeah, many times. Okay. Mm -hmm. I it's, know about it. Okay. You've got to do it. You to do it while you're watching TV. Do it while you're reading. Do it while you're paying bills, whatever. Do it two or three times a day. It'll change everything. Take a bath once a day. Every day, take a bath. If you can do two, that's even better. Okay, you with me? Yes, I am. So you understand the logic here, what we're doing? This is your, we need emergency calm down strategies. These are emergency calm down strategies. Then you're going to start working with food. You should be doing a swear V cleanse and figuring out what your food problems are. You've got to have a lot of food problems. You've got to have oh. a, lot of, a lot of things going on in the digestive system. Go ahead. I'm sorry. I've been doing a lot of juicing recently. I've been for many, many years. I've been health conscious. But see, this is this is not. Uh, you're anyway, missing I, something. I just, the fact that I you're health a conscious lot, is a lot of supplements. Well, the health conscious thing is both good and bad. It's good because you're set. You understand the importance of it. It's bad yeah. because you've got all this stuff going on despite the fact that you're health conscious, which tells me you've been doing something wrong. So you got mm -hmm. good and bad. You know what I'm saying? So we can we can correct that. So hang on, we'll finish up. We can come back from our break. Okay. Don't go away, Shirley. All right, at Pharmacist Ben, 844-236-6010 is our number. You're listening to The Bright Side. We'll be back right after this. Okay, we're back on The Bright Side, 844-236-6010 is our number. We're talking to Shirley in California. Okay, Shirley, so we're going to calm that body down, right? SDR breathing, baths, massage if you can get massage, self-talk. You know what that is? Self-talk, how we talk to ourselves. I've been through it all. What's that? I've been through it all. Believe me, okay. I've been, this has been going on for years. I good. Okay. So that's good. So you're on the right track, but you're just doing a few things wrong probably. So so let's well, let's just nail this thing down. I, I, uh, that, that, that's all the psychological stuff. Uh, and, and I guess to a certain extent, physiologic too. But th there's other things you can do. Okay, you got to get your blood sugar under control because when you have low blood sugar, that's going to spike your cortisol. So try to eat as little as possible. And when you eat, try to eat things that are a little bit complex, like proteins and fats, rather than starches and sweets. Okay. okay. The more com the more complexity you eat, the more stable your the more complex your food is, or the uh, the more stable your blood sugar is going to be, and that's extremely that's important. <clears throat> Go ahead. Omega threes count because my yes, DNA omega threes and a lot of omega threes and vitamin take, E as well. Make sure you're doing a good yeah. Stay with all of that. Okay. Let me give you some direct supplements that are going to help you with your cortisol. Okay. This is, you notice how we're working here. We're we're not working with your blood. We're working with your with the cortisol, with the stress response. What's going to right? thin my blood? That's what's causing the clot. The blood, thing. The, th the blood is clotting because your body thinks it's about to die. Do you understand uh -huh. this? Let me let me say again. Your body. I'm not talking about you. you as a, I'm separating you from your body. I know it's hard to do that, but you got to really start to think of your body as being a separate thing from you, because you're kind of running your body like you're driving a car. And so you want to treat your body like a car in, a, in this kind of metaphor. So when your car, which is an intelligent car, it's not a dumb car like our cars, it's an intelligent car. When your car thinks it's about to die, it will clot the blood. Why? Because the blood clotting is a way of keeping you from bleeding to death when you get eaten by a lion. Your body doesn't, the only death it knows is eating by, being eaten by a lion. So clotting is part of the stress response. 
Clotting is part of the stress response, and clotting is an epidemic. Blood clotting drugs or blood thinning drugs are in the top 10 best-selling drugs every year. And they're among the most deadly. We're going to talk about how cortisol plays a role in clotting here later today or, or later tomorrow, maybe the next day. But the point I want to make right now is your body is manifesting all of the signs of an amped up stress response. I'm trying to get, and that's the root of the blood clotting. That's the root of the stroke. That's the root of all of the other symptoms. We want to go to the root, and then all the symptoms will take, take uh, care of themselves. It's you, not the eighth bed causing it. The eighth bed is causing my the, heart to... No, to it's clot. a circle. It's a circle. It's circular. The a, first, it starts with the clotting, the sluggishness. That causes the AFib, which causes more sluggishness, which causes more AFib. It's a big circle. Are you with me? Well, my heart's gone up to 170. It's gone up. Because your body can't get blood. Your uh, cells can't get blood. So the, the heart is working oh. to try to get blood to the cells. It can't do it. It's like oh, your cells oh, are screaming. I... Your cells are screaming, where's the blood? Where's the blood? Because everything's kind of sluggish and slow. The body screams, the cells are screaming, where's the blood? So the heart starts pumping more and more. You follow me? And, oh. it's, going against, and it's going against all the stickiness, so the pressure gets higher and higher. And that's where you end up with strokes. You've got okay. to calm the body down. That's your key. I could tell you all the chemistry is fascinating. I love talking about it, but it doesn't matter to you right now. You've got to calm the body down. Now, as, and that's where the sugar strategies will come into. Now, last but not least, stress at the digestive system level, the wrong kinds of foods over the course of many years, and it's, you've got to be doing the wrong kinds of foods, will f add to the problem. So you've got to get that under control. Fast for a couple of days, do a food diary, write down everything, and then uh, start to support digestive health and eliminate the foods that cause problems. And the less you eat, my dear, the better off you're going to be. With all due respect, yes. and I'm in on the same ballpark as you are, and a lot of our listeners are. When you're in your 50, when you're in your 60s, food is overrated. You follow me? <laughs> I've lost my appetite recently. You don't need it. It's you, you know why you lost your appetite? Because your body is, yeah. is telling you don't put anything in here. Uh, I'm kind of intermittently fasting, actually. But what's that? I'm intermittently fasting. I've had for like 10 Good. Hours keep, keep, hours do, do, day, less, not just fasting, not just fasting, uh, Shirley, uh, <laughs> calorie restriction so that you're eating very little. And when you eat, you eat nutrient dense. You stick to nutrient dense foods and small amounts of it because food per, adds a, a further burden on a poor body that's already stressed. I gave you a ton of information there, my dear. Uh, be good. Okay. All right. Take care. Thank God you. bless you. Thank All right. All right, uh, moving on to Gary in Minnesota. Good morning, Gary. How you doing, buddy? Oh, Ben. That's thanks me. For taking my call. Thanks for thanks for calling okay? us. Everything's okay like with me. Stuff. Thank you for thanks for asking. I appreciate that. Number one person I want to talk to in the world today. I appreciate that. But can you talk a little louder or talk into the phone? Oh, okay. I'm, I, I'm on a speaker phone. Can you? Okay. Uh, I can't change it. How's that? Okay, that's better. That's better. Go ahead. Okay. Um. I'm kind of I'm a 70 year old poster boy for you. I've been living this lifestyle since I was a teenager. I, you know, short term fasting, no mercury. Nice. Teeth. I've been uh, like I, I monitor my health, have glucose here. I mean, I can go on and on and on. So I'm working out last week at my health club, feeling absolutely tremendous. I just did my weightlifting and short term uh, uh, interval training and and everything. Love great. it. Love it. I'm impressed. Um, I'm very I've never impressed. Never had a pill in my life. I have a website, by the way, GaryTotalHealth.com. By the way, that's awesome. It, it tells your story, who you are. Yes, everything. Gary awesome. TotalHealth.com. Got a few pictures there and everything. Anyway, I, uh, that's that's awesome. awesome. I'm going to be on. I'm going to be on as soon as the show's over. Go ahead. I'm sorry. Okay. So, I being a health a health crusader, just like peaked out. I mean, I got everything going good. So I, I leave the health club and I'm driving by and they got five wild turkeys. I've been feeding some seeds to keep them alive through the winter, helping them. And I go into the, uh, the holiday station. I get some seeds. It's 9.30 in the morning last week. And I'm walking out and I'm walking slow and I come up to the car and I take a spill on black ice and oh, I, no. I have three fractures in my humerus. Oh, I'm sorry, but you're going to heal up. You're going to heal quickly based on everything I you've been doing. Not, I got some interesting things to tell you. You know, I don't want to. I know it's radio time, so I don't want to waste the time to get to the points. But uh, I wound up. The two doctors that saw me, that my main uh, orthopedic, he says, I don't know what this Doctor Buss. He's the guru in the Twin Cities. 
I don't know what he's going to say. You know, he might want you to do a shoulder replacement. Dude, I, dude, I saw him yesterday. I was very relieved. He looked at it, He says, that's not too bad. That's not too bad. He says, we we can do this without a surgery. He's known for not wanting to do surgery. Nice. Surgery's the last. Nice. I'm impressed. He is the best. So, so uh, man, I just about... Uh, I had a drink when I got home after that, Tim. <laughs> yeah, I had no problem. No worries. Stimulate your liver a little bit. No, just not too much. Because I Go didn't ahead. know if he's going to tell me, Gary, you know, the, the shoulder replacement. I never had surgery in my life. That's awesome. And no prescription pills? No, no. Here's the, here's the deal. Here's the yeah. deal. No, I yeah. take nothing. I have, I'm have. a I'm a legitimate. We're going to run out of surgery. time. Gary, total health. Okay. We're going to run out of okay. time. Okay, I'm, I'm on. Okay. Boy, I don't want to do that. Uh so they got I mean, me on these. He doesn't like me taking any pills at all. I've been taking some hydrocone. Hydrocodone, uh, uh, pain pills, pain pills. Pain pills. Constipation. I've had them the last did, week, and I've been it, so pain that I took them, I could at least yeah. go to sleep. Well, let me give and you some ideas. To... Gary, let me give you some ideas because we got about 30 seconds here. So let me just give you some ideas, okay? Get on vitamin E right away. Very, very wonderful anti-inflammatory. I'd probably be using some vitamin K. Uh, and then make sure you're doing things that build up the connective tissue. Bone broth protein. Go get go get some bone broth protein. Do a smoothie every day. Crack an egg in there. Uh, you might want. I've been doing that every day. Okay. Bone broth protein. Make sure it's I bone do broth. Chicken soup every day. I do smoothies oh, every day. I do everything. You probably. You know what? You're probably probably doing do everything. A, I don't do a. I don't do one bite of bad food, and I don't, I don't know why How people How about silica say, gel? So get many on some... delicious foods out there. There's no reason to eat one bite I of I agree with you. I totally agree with you. So, uh, get on some liquid silica gel and some high aluronic acid. Make sure you're doing all your sulfur amino acids and sulfur as well. I can't probably, write all this down real fast. I know. You're like probably doing – Gary, my friend, you're probably doing everything great. You're probably going to. Is gonna, there any way I can talk to you after the show or a way to reach Yeah, send me an email. Send an email to Ben. I'm, K- old, I'm old school. I take you're emails when I got a cell phone. <laughs> it's called, uh, stay on the line because we're going to just stay on the line. Gotta, and if, all right, stay on the line. I'll see if the, my board guy can, can, leave, uh, can leave Gary on the line. And I'm sorry, to, I hate to do that, but uh, we just run out of time on this program. Let's, actually, I'm going to see if I can get. See if we get John in real quick. Oh, well, that's all. That's it. There's the music. So that's all the time we have for today on the Bright Side. Thanks for listening. Please check out my multiple websites, brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, and criticalhealthnews.com for all the longevity products. And click on the Join the Team link and help us spread the word about the power and importance of a good nutritional supplement program. Please check out my website, truthtreatments.com, for all the Truth Treatment products, Truth Retinol 5% Gel, Truth Transdermal C Serum, Truth Transdermal C Balm, and our Truth Omega-6 Healing Cream. That's it for now. Have yourselves a wonderful, awesome, beautiful, spectacular day. We'll talk to you all later. Bye for now.